warm, yeah. buttery, just the right amount of spice in there. It's applewood, yes. This is the way. I can't I can't mix it. I can't I can't do a mix video on Thank that. you. This is good as is. It's just this is just beautiful. I didn't I never thought I would love a rye. Here I am. Excellent. I know, I feel like I've reached my final form. <laughs> Hi, and welcome to The Liquor Connoisseur. I'm Crystal. I'm Roger. Today we'll be reviewing Widow Jane's Applewood Rye. Let's go behind the label and find out more about it. Widow Jane is a small batch whiskey made in Brooklyn, New York. They source their bourbon and rye, but make some of their expressions in-house and use a non-chill filtration and proof it with limestone water from the Rosendale Mines of upstate New York. They plan to distill all their brands in-house soon. I see you checking it out. What, what you think? Oh, yeah. So 93 proof, 46.5%. Uh, this is coming out of batch number 23, bottle number 687 for us. And the date on this is uh, 2023. So Applewood Rye. Yeah, they actually put toasted Applewood staves in the barrel. Uh, mm. to finish uh, this is actually a rye that we tried at a fundraiser last year I'm not big into rye, but that applewood just did something that made this my favorite rye yes it was special we went back a couple times for this one so yeah, <laughs> yeah. I was quite pleased let's see what we get out of this one yeah. and just again staying behind the label this brand was purchased back in February of 2022 by Heaven Hill. It was previously owned before that by Samson and Surrey. Hmm. So it's been bought and sold a couple of times. Yeah. It just sounds like a lot. <laughs> <laughs> the color is nice. Oh, yeah. I'm glad we found this out in the wild. Oh, it took a while. Yeah. So this is where you taste it and you're like, where can I find it? Yeah, you're like, where can I get it? Can I even get it here where I'm at? Just because I tried it here doesn't mean <laughs> it's going to be here. All right. Okay. Oh, that nose is so beautiful. Mm -hmm. The apple is, is there. Yeah, the apple wood shining through here. You get that creaminess, sweet buttery i just it's <laughs> it's just warm like the color all right i'm i'm going in all right cheers yep what is the price point on this one let's see i believe this was about fifty dollars yeah that sounds about right. Oh my goodness. I know they make a number of expressions. I think yes. we had their 10 year and we've had another one. They make quite a few of them. Yes. Some of them in different bottles. I think the one we had was like in a shorter bottle. We've seen some pretty cool ones when we went to a, um, a local bar and mm -hmm. uh, they had one that was quite expensive more mm -hmm. so than this one. It was just, I, I want to say it was aged like 15 years or something. It was up there, but yeah. it was nice. And like I said, they do source their rye, but they proof it down with that limestone water. Here again, talking about limestone in the water. They yeah. say it's a hard limestone, but sweet taste. Yeah. You know who else uses limestone in their water? Hmm. Kentucky. <laughs> and there you have it, folks. <laughs> <laughs> that I think there's something to it. Yeah, it is. Um, I know we've talked about this before. Water is the key. I mean, that's what makes all the difference pretty much in the world here. Oh, man, it's just, this is perfect. Yeah, there's very little alcohol burn. It's just, you can only drink this neat. <laughs> Yeah, I feel like 
if you add something to this, you'll take away from that apple wood mm -hmm. that you get. It's, it's light, but it's present. You can tell from whiskey to whiskey that this has something special going on. And they had a few bottles up there um, from them, but this one stood out to me because of that. Yes, that um, putting those toasted applewood staves in that, that barrel just mm -hmm. makes it different. It doesn't have that was it is it the tartness of the rye yeah well you still get the spicy but it's not overbearing yeah. i know that some ryes can push people away they're not quite ready for that that's more for the uh scotch drinkers typically like ryes more so than your bourbon drinkers would uh bourbon drinkers like oh that's a little bit too much spice this tones that down a little bit makes it a little bit more approachable um, and that apple will really brightens this up I like it a lot. That apple, little caramel from that that barrel. It's nice. I think for what this is and how you have, you, you, you gotta just add the glass. Just add the glass. Just add the glass. I told you. You remember? We can go back in time a little bit, just a few videos down. You'll see that she was going to join us, and and you see it now. She just joined. Just add the glass. You see it. I'm team meat. Yeah. You just had the glass. See? I, I like that. See, merchandise we'll get... available on the liquor connoisseur .com. Mm -hmm. Oh man, I'm so glad you found this one. Me too. It was the last one on the shelf. Was it? <laughs> it was. I mean, we were looking all around the store and then we just kind of found it in the corner. Yeah. Yeah. It's like, is that it? Yeah. You get excited when you find these. Uh, this is not really a unicorn bottle, but it was kind of for us because we weren't sure if we were going to find it anywhere else. Yeah. And we found it in Stillwater. And uh, so that was awesome. Yeah. That yeah, was awesome. They have a pretty good selection, by the way. They, they, yes, they, they do. do. And they were featured in one of our shopping trips. Yep. Um, our uh, Come Shop With Me series, you'll see that every now and then when we go out, we'll take you guys with us so you can see what we walk by and pick up. That's always fun. That way you know exactly what you need to get. I love trying new innovations within the spirit industry, and I feel like this is one of them. I don't know how many other brands are out there doing this, mm -hmm. but I will find you. Yeah, we'll find you. I just <laughs> want to see if you can compete. <laughs> we like this kind of stuff. I mean, you had the, the sherry, and now you got the, the Amarones, the turns, and every now and then somebody will do something, something, something like this. And this is great. Yeah. Yeah, this is a. Uh, I'll go ahead and give it to it gift worthy <laughs> you see that every now and then i'm saying yeah this is gift worthy and it is it is uh, your bourbon drinker will appreciate it even your scotch drinkers and rye drinkers are going to love this one this is a win all the way around if you like whiskey i think this will be a good space for you connoisseurs this is expert mm -hmm. you you gotta have an appre appreciation appreciation for the spirit itself and the craft of that that apple wood. Yeah, this is not a starting point because you won't really know where you're coming from. It, it pays to kind of walk your way up through to this one. Yes. Yeah, this is all right. Okay. If, not, if I keep going, I won't have anything to cheer. For. Okay, so yeah, you're right about that. Yeah. Here we go, running yeah. into that again. Yeah. Okay. But this is becoming a real problem. What well, we're picking some really, we good really are. Uh, 2024 is nice. <laughs> yes we are off to a great start with even more great features to come we actually have an interview we're going to do some some interviews some more industry interview uh, interviews this year and stay tuned man we've got some exciting stuff coming up on the liquor connoisseur all right yeah. well we saved enough we made it to the end we made it Cheers. Cheers. As always, like, subscribe, and share. Mm -hmm.